Think we're flying too close to the mountain? <laughs> <laughs> Rodriguez, one question. Are you prepared to strip human flesh from a body and eat it? <laughs> <laughs> She'd like it a lot better if you came home alive. <laughs> Very funny. I can't believe that you would abandon me for Justine. And you? Did that night at Carrie Fisher's house mean nothing to you? I mean, you've only been working here for three weeks. I'm co-worker of the year. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Look, I won a tween choice award. It hasn't done me any good. I voted for you. Thanks. Did you get eaten and alive? I'm not telling you anything more about movies I was in. And let me tell you something. You are no longer my biographer. Oh, come on. You can't do that. I, I already have three chapters done. What was Robert De Niro like? Directors I've slept with, and it was a big hit in France. It's Germany. Germany. I'm really disappointed. I thought you were my friend. We are friends. But Justine pays better. You can't put a price on friendship, Ethan. Hey, guys. Ethan, here's that Dragon Ball Z game that you wanted. Awesome. That's... <sighs> Thanks, Justine. You're welcome. Hey, Justine, here's that videotape you gave me that I didn't even really want. It's a VHS tape. I spent like an hour trying to squeeze it into my DVD player. I don't even have a VCR. Nobody has a VCR. Thanks a lot. Note taken. That was a super good speech. I can't hear. I don't speak uh, Korean. Oh, no. I am not speaking Korean. Yes. You don't understand a word I'm saying, do you? Which is a shame because you are very lovely woman and I'd like to know more about you. I would like to know how God sculpted those cheekbones, what vessels it sets a sail, how that perfectly pointed nose comes to a tip of pleasure like a mountain top covered in cream. Well, I'm Swedish. Yeah, I am from Sweden. Sam Hong Hulstad. No! Yeah! How can you be Swedish? Oh, well, not all Swedes have blonde hair, you know. Yeah, that's a racial stereotype, mm. and that's not really appreciated. This is my brother, Soon. They're adopted from Korea. Did you know that Sweden adopts more Korean babies than anyone in the world? Oh, yeah, it's true. Oh. I am glad. Mm. Huh? So you're flying home to see Mama, Sam? Sung? Yeah, yeah. Sung was recruited to play for the Swedish national handball team. So, I want to be there for his first match. Spike? What? No. <laughs> Did you say handball? Are you a fan? Well, when I'm not managing a rather large IKEA in Burbank, I often play a little handball myself. Oh, that's super cool. <laughs> oh, maybe you could... Show me some moves well, sometime. So here's my ball. Oh, flying. Here's my hand. And oh, your ball is in my hand. Oh, oh, oh we're oh, in trouble oh, now. And here's my ball. And I eat your ball. Oh, you're oh. eating my ball. You're eating my ball. Oh, that feels kind of wet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Ah, hello. Hello. Yeah, do you know the one about the Paul Lynn? Mm -hmm. Paul Lynn story? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Paul Lynn is on the airplane and there's a baby crying on the airplane and Paul Lynn says to the mother... Mm -mm, urban myth. Never happened. You're an urban myth. No, no, what happened was was it was actually like a three-year-old girl and uh, Paul Lynn, she's running up and down the aisles. Uh -huh. And Paul Lynn says, uh, grabs her and says, come here, little girl, let's go find your mommy. <laughs> so they go off and... Uh, and taps the mother on the shoulder, right. and he says, uh, excuse me, ma'am, is this your little girl? And Paul's had a few by then. And uh, she's like, well, yes. <laughs> a few little girls. <laughs> Not little girls. <laughs> <laughs>